Yeah, that's right. Officials were just here taking a look at the whale that, like you said, was washed up starting yesterday afternoon. Now, uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, they say the whale is a juvenile, so just a few years old. Has some barnacles on it, if you can see, and is just about 24 feet long. Uh, high tide is coming in soon, probably within the next hour, hour and a half, so the waves are coming up and starting to kind of move the whale, but there hasn't been too much movement. Uh, Noah said the last time their officials saw the whale yesterday, it was still alive at sundown and was stranded in the roughly waist deep water. Um, also saw people trying to push the whale back into the water about 10 p.m. last night. But when officials were just here, probably 30 minutes ago, they were came and reassessed seeing the whale, uh, talking about possibly towing out, um, towing it out back into the ocean. So uh, it is presumed that it is likely dead just because it has been left here overnight. Um, they did leave it here yesterday thinking that it could possibly bring itself back into the ocean. They were just going to see if it was going to be able to bring itself back in overnight and come back here at dawn to reassess, reevaluate what steps need to be taken next. So they went and talked to lifeguards um, and consulted and did talk about towing the whale out. So it is likely dead, although they have not confirmed that with us. So back out here live, you can see part of the whale, the tail actually right now. It's kind of been moving around all morning. Like I said, as these waves have been coming in and out, the high tide is coming in around 8.15 or 8.30. So it is starting to kind of cover the whale a bit, but it is still here and we'll be out here the rest of the morning, keeping you updated, seeing if there's any updates from NOAA, if they come back down, begin to tow the whale or what steps they're planning on taking. At La Jolla Shores, Alex Lai, CBS 8.